For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. A video showing you and remembering uh, all the free staters and liberty activists who have died since I moved to New Hampshire in 2004 might be a long video. Might have to be more of a playlist. But as I was poking through some old photos, I came to the conclusion that it was a, a playlist that probably ought to be created. I guess I'm going to remember them in the order that I remember them, and not in any particular chronological or importance type manner. The first New Hampshire liberty activist who I can remember dying may not have actually been a liberty activist. I don't know. I never checked. But she was married to one, or at least she was uh, the girlfriend of one. I said, I'm Marianne, and I'm with Don Gorman. <laughs> and you were saying before I interview him? I said, you better get him if you want to interview him. Get him before he gets a sandwich. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> now, Don, question for you. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to learn anything more about her than what's in this video, because I never saw her again after it. And she wasn't in any more video after it, at least not that I shot. This was in 2007. I think it was practically the second or third Ridleyo I ever shot. I think she was she was gone within four years after that. Don, however, pulled himself together, and last I saw him about a year ago was in the peak of health. Or at least he looked like he was in the peak of health. He called it putting Humpty Dumpty back together. Now, I started off trying to focus just on the ones I had pictures and video of, but... I think I should probably mention that there was a free stater who died in 2003, if I'm not mistaken. It would have been right around there, who, I don't think he ever made it to New Hampshire. I don't even know if he died after we picked New Hampshire. And I don't remember what his name was. He died in a car wreck, if I recall. And uh, Jason Sorens, the, uh, the founder of the Free State Project, I think made the announcement, or at least was talking about it on one of the forums, he said that the thing he remembered the most about the guy was that he was always, he was real big on this Patrick Henry quote, but I don't remember the exact quote. It was something along the lines of, uh, here, look, look at this Constitution thing. It's written as though good people are going to be in charge. And I don't think I ever would have heard that quote if it hadn't been for this guy's death and Jason Sorens talking about it. So he accomplished some little thing, even uh, having died so early. Now, I'm trying to go in chronological order, but I'll probably wind up having to place some people here in the order that I remember them, but I'm trying to go in chronological. The next one I remember wasn't until 2011. Who I believe on Monday first uh, came out here carrying his foul around his back. And that was this gentleman, Ian Hild. This one really broke my heart because th there was a... We didn't even know he had died. I met the guy and talked strategy with him. Uh, we, you know, I, I don't remember shooting any video of him, but some free stater shot this. Well, someone shot this video of him, which, as you can see, is memorable right out the gate. This guy really hit the ground running, and I, I think it was it was it was 2011 or right around there. But maybe six or seven months after first meeting him. Uh, I got a call from someone uh, who said, did you hear that Ian Hild had died? And, and it had happened months earlier, and none of us even knew. It almost reminded me of that scene from the movie Collateral, where, you know, where Tom Cruise uh, dies and no one notices. But he was a suicide, apparent suicide. And he had been a veteran. He, I think he was in the Navy... And I just remember that he had some, he had real good strategic sense. I don't remember what exactly his ideas were, but they, uh, they left a good taste in my mouth, and I was just looking forward to my next conversation with him, but I only ever got to have one. In case you're wondering what this video is, uh, Hild participated in an open carry rifle demonstration, and this is probably shot in downtown Manchester. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station 
said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.